Hey everybody, it's The Last Raider. We're back with another video and talk about something a little calmer, okay? I got, kind of getting back into the Comics Gate stuff. Talking about stuff in Comics Gate, you know. And I got to thinking about it the other day because I've seen a lot of people talk about, you know, the Comics Gate method using YouTube, build an audience, and all that nonsense. And I'm not knocking it. I am going to say that I do think that now Comicsgate has gotten big enough that that is probably not the only method of getting big in Comicsgate. And what I would mean by that is you now have companies like Splatter Delgado, which have now, they're now tried and tested and can get their stuff out there. You also have Alterna, who does a cheaper version of a comic book. If you look at Alterna's site, when they talk about you know, their submission process, the more you've got done with the book, the more likely it's going to get printed. And Alterna is interested in having new stories and, and they would like a bit of, you know, they like a couple stories to throw in there, you know, and have some fun with for people, you know, to reach out there and buy, you know, they want to have a series that goes out. And I would say to some people that are going into Comicsgate, you know, wanting to, you know, get into comics, and thinking there's no way I can get to Marvel. I want to make everyone think about something very carefully. Because if you're going to do this submission process with other Comicsgate pros. Okay, so we, we finally have Comicsgate pros or Comicsgate professionals. My suggestion is don't go in there and annoy them with submissions all the time. Uh, if nothing else, offer... Like, if I were to deal with Myers, I would probably offer a story that would be kind of short, that could be turned, you know, scripted out. Offer it to him for a price and say, hey, I've got this. Read through it. If you like it, you know, let's talk about money. If not, don't worry about it. The idea right now of with this is sort of the classic method of getting into comic books, which I now think the classic method of getting in there, you know, like submitting in, starting at the bottom and working your way up. If you don't already have a reputation, uh, is now possible. Okay. Like I said, with Alterna, Alterna, you could probably do, if you could get selected by them, you know, and, and get your stuff done at a reasonable time and a reasonable pace, you could theoretically in Alterna get your name out there. Another thing with Alterna, and I'm going to harp on Alterna a lot, is Alterna lets you have, I believe, 80% of the proceeds that come from your book, or they let you have a certain amount, and you. but regardless of how much money you get, you still keep full control over your product, over your intellectual property. So you could, theoretically, if you wanted to do something with Alterna, you could get your submission status with Alterna, have them print out the newspaper print books, get your reputation started, then turn around, take what you've already done and made money at an Alterna and do like a special edition graphic novel. Say say you do a, a book uh, with about three to five stories. You can turn around and turn that into a major graphic novel with a higher quality paper, foil cover if you made enough money off Alterna to do it. And probably see some turnover in that afterward. You could also add a couple extra stories to it stuff that haven't been seen. It's it's a lot of marketing when you come down when it comes down to it. You know, you can add uh origin stories inside the comic book or whatnot, how how characters got together. That's just just be little stuff that you couldn't put in Alterna that you can add with a graphic novel on Indiegogo or Kickstarter if you want to use that service. <laughs> Kickstarter in my opinion probably won't be around for a long time. But yeah, like I said, it the old version of comic uh, getting into comics, you know, breaking in of, you know, submitting some stuff and saying, Hey, you know what? Um, I've, I've got a story I'd like to submit. Y'all be willing to pay a little bit for it and go from there. Another reason why I say you will probably want to do like the small submission. Don't go in there and submit like massive stories because you're asking for comic pros like Ethan Van Skyver. And now I say comic pros, I'm talking about guys who are professional in comics gate. Not talking about the crazies that are in Marvel and DC. But you, you take guys like Ethan Van Skyver or even uh, Richard Myers would probably be a closer to... Probably be... Uh, you'd have a much better chance with. And I'm not saying you should do this. I'm just saying Richard is right now doing multiple comics a year. And he's really pushing his company to make money off books as they come out. 
you could go in there and say, Hey, uh, you know, I'd like to, I've got a, a short story. Uh, just read it. Tell me what you think about it. And, you know, just go from there, you know, get a reputation built up. If, if a guy like Meyer and I harp on Myers cause Myers has the most Myers and Alterna have the most readily available models to work with. Sorry if Myers sees this and says, well, man, I wish you wouldn't broad. I'm not broadcasting it. I'm just saying at the moment in 2020, Myers and Alterna have the two best uh, companies at the moment. They are the big two of Splato, Splato Comics and, and you know Alterna are the two big companies right now in Comicsgate. They do have the resources to take something like this and run. I, I would just say Myers and Alterna have the money to make a risk on something if they think it would be a story that would sell and sell well. Another thing I want people to recognize also is really put your heart and soul into these into these stories. Don't half-ass it. All right. This is your. This is you giving a portfolio. Because one of the things about Comicsgate, people need to realize, Comicsgate is based solely on consumer. All right. The consumer will make or break you in this movement, uh, in the industry that's now being made in Comicsgate. The the average customer is what's going to decide whether you whether you uh, fly or fail. So. Put some effort into this. Make some really good short stories that you can put out there. And you never know what will happen. One of the things that I've always been amazed by is how like Amazing Spider-Man came to be. Stan Lee was like, it was never meant... He, when he wrote Spider-Man, he never knew that it was going to go as big as it was. He he did the story arc of Spider-Man, and then they asked for more Spider-Man stories, basically. And then after that was over with, it it kind of it, it was originally amazing stories where they pulled out all kinds of different stories and stuff and was throwing out. And I wish someone would do something like this, you know, grab a couple of random writers and some good artists and have them just do like a graphic novel of really good stuff. Put the graphic novel out there so you know some guys. Some talent can get their name out there, you know, and possibly get a job doing this or make a little bit of money at it. Uh, and, and, you know, just kind of work from there. But don't sit back there and think you're going to get these massive points. Spider-Man captured the hearts of, of people and then Marvel said, you know, this needs its own standalone book. It, it's a cash cow that we can milk for more money and we can make a good profit off of it as long as the stories are good. But, uh, yeah, if people were asking for other methods besides, you know, doing a YouTube channel and, and getting there, which I'm doing right now, but I may actually attempt to do this at some point. I may try to get a good story system set up and go to Alterna and, and try to push the story idea that I've got into, like, a small series or something, get, a, you know, a couple stories built on it. I don't know. It'll depend on if it gets, it gets accepted. But like I said, you know, right now... I will, I will end with this. Right now, the YouTube method is the most solid means. So you should consider getting a YouTube channel, getting that started up. And if you can manage to get there, the YouTube channel is just going to benefit you in the long run. I'm not saying the YouTube channel isn't necessary. I am saying that the YouTube channel will help. Whether you want it to be necessary or not, it is going to give you a boost so you might as well just go with it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hit the bell for notification. I put videos out as often as I can. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.